guys, I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have some new and interesting things to share with you. So some of this I bought myself, a lot of it was sent to me, so if I have any sort of discount codes or anything, I will leave all of that information in the description box. I will leave everything as well as links to where you can get everything, even the stuff that I bought, just in case you're interested. Okay. I have a lot of stuff. I don't know if it's just a lot of stuff or a lot of big stuff, probably both. Okay, so this is a towel. <laughs> this is from Brooklinen. I bought this. Um, I bought their sheets a while ago and I really like their sheets and we needed new towels because we were still using our wedding towels from almost 10 years ago and they were getting a little ratty. So we decided to get these Brooklinen towels and they are quite nice. These are plush and soft and when we first got them because they're kind of expensive you know and so when we first got them i you know we like opened up the box and i was like mm, sort of underwhelming you know but then the first time i used it i was like wow this feels really plush could be that my old towels were so ratty <laughs> who knows colin didn't think that it was very absorbent at first but then he was like oh, okay no wait it's better and of course every time you wash them they get more absorbent I don't know why that is exactly, but anyway, so I do like these. They are very nice. I'm a big fan. Okay, this, again, I bought this. This is Fitvine Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a wine that is geared toward, well, uh, fitness and health. It has very little sugar in it. That's its thing. So yeah, it says clean tasting, rich in flavor, and mouthfeel with low residual sugar. If you're looking for a wine that champions the way you want to live your life, crushing it at work, in the gym, and at home with the family, drink Fit Vine wine. So it's, it's low in sugar and stuff, so it's meant to be okay for like a paleo diet, maybe even keto, because it's like less than one gram of sugar, I'm assuming per glass. And it does taste really well. I've had it, it's really good. Being low in sugar actually helps with hangovers as well. And because I am mostly trying to be healthy all the time, I thought that I would try this and I actually really like it. There's another winery called Dry, Dry Farm Wines, I think it's the name of it. And they actually sent me a box, so I will review that separately. But I'm very curious about these, you know, low sugar wines. Plus I like my wines to be on the drier side. So anyway, um, I've only had one bottle of this so far, but I went back and bought two more. And they have different ones. This is the Cab. They also have, I think, a Syrah that I can't find anywhere. Maybe a Pinot Noir, something like that. And I saw a white, but I didn't get that one because I've mostly been drinking reds lately. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you guys. This crazy torture device looking thing is a massaging tool. And it actually came with a little paper that kind of tells you how to use each of the things. And it's quite nice, actually. Like this you use on your lower back or like up your spine. And then this, these two nubs together work really well for like your neck area. Oh my God, that feels so good. Um, it's really great for like, sorry, I'm zoning out right now. This feels really good. <laughs> Um, if you have like a knot that you need to work out or, you know, you're just trying to massage yourself. Oh my God, seriously. Oh, that feels so good. Anyway, um, ah, as I strangle myself and you can do like, there's a foot thing and a, it's got all these different nubbins on there to do various things, you know, like your shoulder blades or whatever. So anyway, this is really cool. Um, do be careful with it though, because you can kind of go overboard and make things worse. And if you are really digging into a knot like that, I would highly suggest icing it afterwards because as you work at that knot, you sort of inflame the muscles and you need the ice to kind of cool it back down. So, ice after you use this thing and don't go crazy. Another thing from that same company, I, these are from Amazon and these ones were sent to me, these massage dumaflaches. This one is one of those blades. This looks so fancy. It's, it's a blade and it came with like a little, you know, wipey tool and this, which is empty. And I presume you're supposed to put oil in it or whatever for massaging. And I saw my physical therapist using this on somebody Honestly, I'm a little bit afraid to use it. I mean, I guess you just rub it along the muscles to break up the tissue and built up muscle. I don't know, you guys. It's a little scary, to be honest, but if you know how to use this, um, 
they sell them on Amazon and, and you can get this. And this is a really nice little case that it came in. Isn't this pretty? With the little, I mean, I almost thought it was gonna be jewelry or something. <laughs> right? Okay, this is a foam roller. I bought this myself on Amazon. It's just an Amazon Basics foam roller and it was pretty cheap. I think it was like around $15 or something. I freaking love this thing. Mine is 18 inches, I believe. You can get them 12 inches or up to, I don't know, 24 or something, depending on what you're gonna use it for, you know, whatever. But the 18 inches I think is really nice. Um, I've been using it on my legs, my arms, my shoulders, my back. I love this thing. If you've never used a foam roller before, they're actually pretty darn amazing. And they have different ones that have like nubbins on them to make it more intense. You know, if you do work out regularly, you need a massage, you need to work those muscles. Uh, this is pretty awesome. I've been doing a lot of yoga lately. In fact, I will link the videos that I use in the description box. They're just Amazon Prime video. I swear, you'd think I was sponsored by Amazon. I get, always get so much Amazon stuff. Anyway, the Amazon Prime videos that I've been using, her name is Julia Marie, and I really like her because she's not super yoga-y. She's a little more normal, I guess. That sounds so weird, but I don't know. She just doesn't get on my nerves, and I really like her. So I, I started with the 14-day couch to confidence videos, which were great for beginners. And one of the videos actually, she goes over using a foam roller. And so that's when I bought this. I was like, oh, hey, I would actually love to have one of those. So I'll go ahead and buy that to go along with my video. And then when I was done with the 14 days, she has several other videos. And right now I'm in the middle of doing the 30 day weight loss yoga something like that, um, which I'm really enjoying. I think it's great. Not that I'm trying to lose weight, but I like adding the fitness with the yoga. So anyway, this is awesome. Okay, I have some tights here. These are all fishnet tights and they are in all of these super fun patterns. I have not worn them yet, so I can't really tell you about the quality. Honestly, I'm not, really a fishnet person. Every once in a blue moon, I might wear them, but I think I'm gonna give these to my sister because she loves fishnets and I showed them to her and she was like, eek, because she loved all the fun designs. Um, and they do have a ton of fun different ones. I hope you guys can see it and the glare's not too bad. Um, but these are another Amazon find and they're just super fun. I love these, right? How cute are all of these? And then that same company, Hey You, um, sent me these socks. These are actually pretty awesome. I have them in large and medium. I don't, they're the large are probably in this box somewhere. Anyway, they're these tiny little like no show socks, but the genius thing about them is that on the heel, they have that like rubber stuff so that they don't slip off of your heel. And they really don't. I've tested them out. They do not slip off of your heel, which I love. I kind of wish that all of my socks had that because I wear a lot of like ankle socks or like, you know, the low ones. And especially with like when I wear them with my chucks, oh my gosh, they just slide off every single time and it drives me insane. So I love that they have the little rubber thing on them. Let's bring over this box of goodness. It's actually the box itself is um, from Farm Fresh to You. I started getting deliveries of fruits and vegetables, which I really like. It's all local farms and stuff. And they also will include, or you can add on things like kombucha, salami, cheese, you know, all of these, I guess they're somewhat local, like, cause Olympic Provisions, which I got a salami from them, they're based, you know, way north. So I don't know how local it is, but it's a lot of, you know, just organic, small business, sustainable type stuff. So um, this is only my second box, but so far I've been loving it. I have some coffee. This is a giant thing. This is 24 ounces of lion, macadamia flavored coffee beans. I also have the same size of their toasted coconut. I love this coffee so much. It always just reminds me of Hawaii in general. In fact, I order it from Hawaii and it has to get shipped over here. I think you can get this brand at some grocery stores, but they don't carry all of the flavors, so I finally just ordered it online. I love this coffee. I just, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of flavored coffee anyway, so I got 
a giant thing of the macadamia, a giant thing of the toasted coconut in the whole beans, and then in the ground coffee, I have chocolate macadamia, a smaller thing, this one's just 10 ounces, and then a decaf va vanilla macadamia. So I've been loving these. You know, I'm a huge coffee drinker and they're worth ordering them and having them shipped from Hawaii because they are delicious. Um, okay, and then also another coffee item. This is from Santo. These are coffee cubes, and I bought these, and I got these from a Kickstarter. So these are brand new, and I got the vanilla ones. They do have non-flavored ones. I didn't realize that the flavored ones had sugar in them. I guess I should have paid more attention, because it does say sweetened with unrefined evaporated sugar cane. And this box has 24 cubes in it. I can't remember how much I paid for it, honestly, but they come in little individually packed things. They almost look like little candies or something, but these would be great for travel or even like, you know, backpacking or something where, you know, you want coffee, but you don't necessarily want to have to brew a pot. Um, and you just mix it with hot water and one cube makes an eight ounce cup of coffee depending on how strong or how weak you like your coffee. Um, so I've been using these because they do have sugar in them. I just do like an eight ounce cup as almost like a dessert coffee because I normally don't put sugar in my coffee. I put creamer, but not sugar. So anyway, these are, these are fun. It actually does taste really good. It doesn't have that funky instant coffee taste to it, which is nice. So loving those, loving those. This I got at Target. This is from Nexus, and this is Clean and Pure Invigorating Detox Scalp Scrub. So I saw an ad for Briogeo has a scalp scrub with like a charcoal something in it, and I do get like itchy, flaky scalp, and dandruff stuff doesn't ever do anything for me, and I was like, a scrub would probably work, right? But the Briogeo stuff is really expensive, and this wasn't cheap, but it was cheaper than the Briogeo, and it's basically just a scrub. I mean, it looks like your typical kind of a body scrub. You could probably use body scrub on your hair if you really wanted to, but it smells nice, and I've actually really, really been liking it. It does a good job of actually washing my hair, not just like, leaving oils on my scalp, which is what a body scrub would probably do, right? So it gets my hair clean and it really scrubs my scalp and I've noticed a lot less flaking, which is just fantastic. So I'm loving this. I can't remember how much it was, but I got it at Target and it wasn't that bad. Like this big old thing was, I don't know, maybe $14 or something. This is a rash guard from Fuji. So you may have noticed if you follow me on Instagram that I started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. My kids have been doing it since October, I wanna say, and then my husband started doing it and he finally got me to start as well. So I've been going for a couple of weeks now and I have to say, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, you gotta have the right gear and wear the right stuff, right? So you need a gi and I've been wearing Collins. I really need my own gi because his is a little bit big on me. And then for the no gi days, you basically just wear like spandex and you wear a rash guard because otherwise it's like sweaty skin smushing on each other and it's gross. So a rash guard helps with that a lot. This one is from Fuji. I thought it was really cute with, you know, the little design. There is a serious lack of women's wear for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I mean, you get a lot of guys stuff, right? But the women's stuff is um, far and few between, but I really like the Fuji women's top. I think it fits really nicely and it's cute and stylish. So if I get more um, Jiu Jitsu gear, I will share it with you guys. And if you have any recommendations for me, if you do it or you know anybody who does, I would love recommendations as far as brands for the gi, for spats, and any other gear really. So if you have any suggestions for me, definitely let me know. Okay, moving on to other workout stuff. These are from Fabletics and they're just long sleeve shirts because I needed stuff to wear on cooler days if I am working out outside, like if I go for a run or riding my bike or whatever. And so this one is like a little mock turtleneck and it has these scrunchy sleeves, which <laughs> look really weird when you're not wearing them, but when you're wearing it, it's actually really cute on and it fits nicely and I love it. This one is m pretty thin, so I actually wore this, I was riding my bike and it was too cold. I was, I was freezing. 
might have been better for like a jog or something, but when I'm riding my bike, you get a lot of wind and on cold days, I just get too cold. And then this one, I actually wore this today and it's still sweaty, gross. I love this one. It has the thumb holes and it's got a hoodie on it. And this one is a little bit thicker, so it's a bit warmer. But I don't know, I just like the design. I like the way it fits. But I do love both of these tops from Fabletics. Okay, I have some stuff. This is going on forever, you guys. I have some stuff from NYX. NYX, um, I showed you guys a bra from NYX. They have a sports bra that is my favorite sports bra. It is the most supportive and still gives me shape. And the, when I first got it, I was like, I can't breathe. But then after a while, it kind of loosened up and I love it. It's my favorite. So this one was actually on sale and this one is more of a, um, like a, I can't remember what this is actually called. It's like a wear every day or something. I'll list it and let you know, but it's reversible. So you can go with the bright red or more of a deep red, and it comes with two sets of straps, so you can switch those out if you want. This is comfortable, but it does a weird things to my breasts because it like squishes them this way, which is not attractive. I, you know, I would rather them be more round and squished this way. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, this is not my favorite. I have been wearing it to jujitsu mostly and sometimes just kind of around the house when I don't care what my boobies look like. Um, cause it is pretty comfortable, but it's not like I would not buy that one again. This is from NYX. It's just a tank top, but it has a built in, I mean, it's just like the padded things in here, but it's the material is that same kind of like tight compression material. Um, so you could wear this and not have to worry about a bra. It's comfortable enough that I slept in it and then wore it all the next day. And you know, it's just, it's comfy and it holds you in place and it is kind of compression. So it, you know, it feels like it's tucking you in. It would be great for wearing under things or just, you know, to sleep in, whatever. But um, yeah, I've been liking that. Teresa eyebrow tweezer set. You know, it's so funny. The day that I got this, my sister came over and she was like, oh, I have that tweezer set. She got it off Amazon and she said that she really likes it. So it has four different types of tweezers or, you know, tweezer tips, I guess you should say. And, you know, so I guess they're useful for different things, you know, getting out splinters, plucking your eyebrows, whatever the heck you need them for. But they are nice. They're sharp. I've used them a couple of times now tried to keep them all nice and neat for you, but it is a nice little set. And like I said, my sister has it and she says that she really likes them too, so. Okay, I ordered this new product from Drunk Elephant and I bought this from Sephora actually. And it is um, a cleansing balm, like to get all of your makeup off. And it comes with this little scoop, which has a magnet on this side that sticks to the lid. How clever is that? I love it. And it's just, you know, this kind of melty, oil that's a solid and it kind of melts and it really does a good job of getting rid of all of your makeup. And it came with this little booster, which is a powder. So if you wanted to, you could mix the oil, I don't, I don't know what else it's called, the cream, the balm, the balm, there we go. Okay, so you mix the balm with a little bit of the powder to create an exfoliation so that you can exfoliate your face. And they do recommend, I think that for like the AM, and just the regular balm so you can get your eye makeup off at night. So I've only had this for a couple of days, I've, but I've used it and so far I really like it. I love Drunk Elephant products. And then also from that Sephora haul, I only got two things. I got these, um, these vitamins, they're sleep vitamins for radiant sleep. I used them last night. Um, I don't know if they made a difference or not because I was definitely tired, I went to sleep late, but I seemed to sleep well I only woke up a couple of times. It has melatonin and L-theanine and botanicals in it. I don't know what that means. Chamomile extract and passionflower extract, lemon balm extract. Um, but you know, we'll see. This is from Wild Mint and this is the green tea clay with purifying eucalyptus oil face mask. I have not actually tried this yet because I keep having these terrible reactions to skincare. And this has a very strong scent. I mean, it smells good, but it smells like eucalyptus and I'm afraid that my face is gonna freak out if I put this on it, so I haven't used it yet. I'll let you guys know when I do. This is from Ciate London. I bought this and this is Magic Pout Potion. And you can put this on under your lipstick or 
What I like to use it for is under my liquid lipsticks that dry down really matte because my lips dry out and this helps keep them moisturized. And it leaves, it, I mean, it's basically like putting lotion on your lips, but it's in the form of a doe foot applicator. I'm undecided as to whether or not I think it's that effective and whether or not I would purchase it again, but I do like it. I'll give it that. I don't know, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated as I continue to use that. And then last but not least, I have a ton of sponges from Juno. So I just got these. I haven't even opened them yet. I haven't used them, but Juno, which I've reviewed several times, talked about these sponges. They're microfiber sponges, and they came out with a bunch of new shapes. Let's open these and look at the new shapes. Okay, so we have a teardrop shape with one big flat side and one small flat side. I hope that you can see the shape of this. That's pretty interesting. And then it's just round on the bottom. This one, which is like rounded to a pretty fat tip. And then on this side, you have a small flat edge, a larger flat edge, and then this that's flat on the top here. That's interesting. This one, which is much more cylindrical with a round bottom or with an almost round bottom, but it does have a little bit of a tip there. And then the top again with one long side, one short side, and then the flat top up here. And then the last one is just your typical teardrop shape all the way around. Okay, so those are fun. I'm excited to use these. I do love these sponges. They're so funny because they're fuzzy, but they do a really good job. And I did like a full face challenge using one of these sponges and it worked remarkably well for a lot of things. I mean, obviously it was a little bit awkward for some things, but it does a really good job with all sorts of products. And when you get them wet, they do swell. You can use them wet or dry, but I definitely prefer mine wet. Although I don't know, because a lot of times I use, I will reach for this when it's dry um, to do, you know, little things. So anyway, fun sponges and they're super inexpensive, which is the best part, right? Okay, so lots of interesting things for you. Again, I will leave all of the information in the description box. If you are interested in anything, definitely check that out. And that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.